Hello and welcome back to Shine the Fine Art. Today let me show you how I use different kinds of medium for oil paint. And as for different kind of mediums, I am going to explain the mediums that I have used so far, which is a combination of linseed oil and odorless mineral spirits and liquid. So let me show you how to use these two kind of uh, mediums for oil painting. Um, I hope you're enjoying my videos and finding them useful. Uh, as usual, I will put a link or rather the links to my website and all social media presents in the video description so that you can keep a track of what's going on and what's coming up. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Okay, let's first explore how to use the medium which is a combination of odorless paint thinner or odorless mineral spirits and uh, linseed oil. So what I would typically do is for the very first layer or sketching or underpainting, I pour out a very tiny um, amount. If you look at this container, there is hardly anything at the bottom. Very little amount of odorless paint thinner in it and uh, my brand of choice for odorless paint thinner is uh, Mona Lisa but any other brands like the Gamzol or Turpinoid or whatever is available in your local art store is fine they are pretty much all the same even turpentine work will work the same way it's just that turpentine has a lot of smell although I like the smell it gives me headache and if you are working in a confined space like your doors or windows are closed most of the time due to climatic conditions you might want to switch to an odorless paint thinner now i prefer to use containers like this like this is actually a container uh, from my son um, this is a plastic container with a lid or maybe a glass container with a lid now um, a lo long time ago artists used to use containers like this which would clip to your palette because it has a clip on the side but these the problem with these are that they are open faced so whatever I pour out whenever I'm not using the paint thinner I cannot cover it up and although it is odorless doesn't mean that it is any less toxic it still evaporates and it's still making the air around you the uh, especially if you have pets and small pets like birds you have to be extra careful so I prefer to use containers that have lids now for the very first layer or for sketching what I would do is I would dip the paintbrush in the paint thinner and I would squeeze out all the extra paint thinner on the side and then dip the paintbrush into the paint and then do my sketching now if you make sure that all the excess paint thinner from your paint brush has been dabbed away because it has if it has too much of paint thinner what will happen is that when you put it on the canvas or the panel it will bleed or it will run down like a crying canvas and so you will not have the desired results so that's how you start using the odorless mineral spirits now for subsequent layers like for glazing any layer after this what I will do is I will add a little bit of linseed oil in each layer I will start with a mix of one is to one linseed oil and then gradually in each layer I will keep on increasing it and go up to one is to two where I have one part of paint thinner and one part of linseed oil and that's how I um, glaze with now let's come to how you to use liquin as a medium now liquin is comparatively a newer medium but a lot of people nowadays are preferring to use liquin because it's a very fast drying medium and obviously in oil painting anything that is fast drying is advantageous because anyways the drying time is much higher 
now in case of linseed and linseed oil it might take two to four to even seven days for painting to be even touch dry before you can put on your next layer however in case of liquid if you paint in the morning it will be touch dry by the night and if you uh, paint at night by the time you wake up in the morning it will be a touch dry or almost touch dry so that's a con considerable improvement in the drying time that's why a lot of people are now in using liquid and I like prefer liquid too in fact I am slowly and um, switching to liquid completely but I will use up all the linseed oil I have too because there is not there's nothing wrong about linseed oil it's just that liquid has more advantages now with liquid you don't have to, have to worry about how much is on the paintbrush because it's not liquid it's a gel so it will actually not bleed however how much paint you are picking up along with your liquid or how much liquid is it you have depending on that you will get a very transparent layer or a very opaque layer so that's the basic difference between two a lot of using a lot of linseed or using just a little bit of linseed uh, i'm sorry liquid so that is basically how to use the medium if you are a beginner i think that would be very helpful for you to know thank you for watching once again